my little spot fixed up where we're gonna put the camper at. I wanted to make sure I got that done so my wife and my little boy could come out here and spend some time with me. But I'm fixing the head down. Well, I am back out at my property today. Um, the spot that I came in this past summer and just kind of flattened it out to put my camper, uh, we decided to go another route. I've got my own hunting cabin now. It's something that's pretty cool to me. It's, uh, it's got a front porch and the sun will set just right up here and the sun rises over on this side of the porch. So I've got some big plans to do. Uh, we've got bunks up top on both sides and I've got some hardwood floors that I'm gonna put down and I'm gonna put some beadboard stuff up on the walls just to kind of finish it out. And uh, it's already wired, insulated the whole nine yards. So all we have to do is stop off our wires and set a generator out and we'll be good to go. So me and my wife are really excited. Uh, if nothing else, I might get a little bit extra time to hunt being that she'll be here with me now. So uh, I got a lot of work to do, but it's gonna be nice. I've got a skid steer with a brush cutter on the front. I'm gonna come clean all this out. There's a green field planted just on the other side. I told my wife she would uh, be able to hunt out of the cabin. Finally, back out here on the property, getting to work. I've got this overgrown logging deck that I'm gonna clean out this afternoon. I've got the skid steer with the brush cutter. <clears throat> this right here is just kind of old field. It's just got some broom sedge and a lot of sweet gums coming up in it. But this right here is my main focus to get cleaned up all this overgrown stuff you see right here <clears throat> there's a, a road bed right back here I'm gonna clean that road out that runs down the ridge top of my property and uh, it's it's real good access to the mature hardwoods that are back there so I want to make sure I get that cleaned up while I'm in here too to be able to have a good access in there for another spot to hunt so I'm gonna jump on this skid steer and see if I can't get to work.
Well, I got the field cleaned out and uh, not real sure about the landscape off through this thick stuff. So I've been kind of slow, but I got a trail uh, off to the right hand side of it out here. And uh, it seems to have just a gentle slope down. So I'm gonna keep pecking along at it and see how far down there I can get. It opens up on the back side and there's a big bluff. So I definitely don't wanna go that far. But I'm gonna get back at it and see what I can get done. Well, I am sitting in the shade for a second, trying to cool down. I walked on down the road bed because <clears throat> it is super thick. Just trying to make sure I got my route right. You can see this right here is the road or what used to be the road. <sighs> and I probably got another 150 yards to go that way. It just got so thick I had to get off the machine and walk back through here and make sure I was on the right path. So I'm going to go back to the machine and get on, see if I can't get to the end of this road. Well, I'm back up on the, uh, the old field I got cleaned up. I didn't show it to you before I left a while ago. So this is what it looks like now. I didn't realize there was such a big hill out here in the middle of the property or the middle of this field because it was grown up so tall. It just looked like the trees were that much taller, but there's a pretty good hillside right there. It's about four foot tall. And I can't see off the back of it from where I was planning to put my shooting house. So I get up here on top of the hill and you got all this back here. I still got some more to clean right here, but and then right back here behind me, right there is the trail I was talking about cleaning out. It goes all the way out the uh, hardwood ridge basically all the way to the high wall that drops off to the bottom side of my property. So now I've got a lot better access to hunt those hardwoods down there. And uh, I'm gonna try to do the same thing right here. I just walked out through there and looked at the ground and it seems to be pretty level. I didn't see any big drop offs or anything like that that would hinder me from driving the skid steer through it. So. I'm gonna try to get this cleaned out and make a trail that goes all the way out to the ridge also. See what happens. Y'all stick with us. I've had a guy up here the past two days working on the property with a skid steer and a, a drum cutter mulcher. I've got a spot cleared out where I'm planting the savannah grasses. I'm going to come back in with some a native seed mix. And all this that you see back here is going to be just wildflowers and native grasses. Right back here behind the fires, you see my truck parked right there. All that area back in there is where I had a green field last year. The fire's hot, I'm gonna move back a little bit. But I had a green field back in this area last year. And uh, 
I'm going to replant that in the green field and then have all the native stuff over on this side. Back here in the middle of the two is going to be just a thick spot of overgrown briars and whatever's growing in there. There's a bunch of pines and underbrush growing. But I'm going to leave that there just for bedding in hopes of deer actually bedding up here, eating in the food plot, maybe bedding over here in the native grasses and foraging around. We'll see how it turns out. Well, this big pile of slash has burned down a lot better than I expected. I really didn't plan to burn it all today. I was just gonna burn this smaller pile back up here. And uh, I just decided to light a small portion of it down on this side and it just took off. Um, pile back in the back of the property I burned last year didn't burn near this good. There's still, you can see, there's still a few big logs right back in this area that I'll have to do some stuff with, but for the most part, a lot of it burnt. So it's going to make it a lot easier for me to get my tractor in here <clears throat> and clean all this up. This is the pile that I originally started burning. And I started a little fire right here and it took off. I had a tree fall when we had a storm come through burn all that so i'm gonna come back with chainsaw and cut this tree up cut this other tree up that i pushed over and i'm gonna plant all that back through there plant push this pile back up further this way and plant all my native seeds and hopefully i'll have a prairie style uh field Right across the road from my cabin. I'm gonna get rid of all these trees you see down this road. If the fire don't kill them, I will. But turned out pretty good for a quick afternoon burn. Well, this is the big pile um, that I just burnt. All the trees that were along the roadbed, I pushed the trees over, added them to the pile. And that whole pile was pretty massive before it burnt. And I don't know if you can sit in the move down. This tree right here, right there, to this right here is all that's left of it. The rest of it's the trees that I just pushed down off the road. Before long, hopefully I'll have this cleared out. It's not uh, it's not quite as big as it looks because of all the branches off the trees, but there's still a few hot spots and they stirred back up when I pushed it down. I brought my box blade through and kind of grated all around it. So, <clears throat> still got a lot left to do, but uh, it ain't gonna happen today because my tractor broke down on me again, so I'm kind of dead in the water. Hopefully this week after work, I can get back up here and uh, get my tractor back going. Just not a whole lot left. You can see the road is clean. This area all the way up through here of dirt is where all the trees were. So, another big improvement for an afternoon's worth of work. Finally getting some much welcome grain. I was way back off behind this field off in the creek bottom, scouting around and uh, hanging a camera when the bottom decided to fall out. So I'm not even mad about it. The rain feels good. We needed the rain. Everything out here was powder keg dry. This rain sure is gonna help it grow.
Thank you.